because now now the last part of this whole fiasco, this whole con that they've been running on the American people is to, after jerking people around so bad, to take the house away from people, keep all the payments that they've been making for the 10 years or whatever that they've been making payments. They keep all that. And they find a reason to take the house from people and then sell it, and then they're done with it. And they basically sell it back to the government. So they've been making money this whole time while people are losing their savings, losing their investments, and now people are losing their houses. So some of the people here in other cities around the country decided we're not going to let this happen, or we're not going to let it happen easy. We're going to go to some houses of people who have done everything right. It's not that they don't want to pay their mortgage. Maybe they missed a payment or two, and now they want to keep, you know, they've lost their job or something. They want to keep paying and the bank won't even take the money. The bank won't say, no, fuck your money. We're taking your house. We don't want your payments. We're going to take your house and sell it. Um, so we go to the house. We start working with the family. Um, and if it really comes down to it, when the police come to a victim, we block the house and don't let the police come in. And might have 100 people out there. It's like, if you want to arrest all 100 people out here, Trying to take this family out of their house And what's that going to look like for you um, yeah. and, and So there's been a few houses And, and, they, and we win Basically what it does is it, it, it creates enough time And pressure For the banks to have to renegotiate with people So the bank says okay You missed a couple payments we, Your house was in foreclosure um, Okay let's work out a new deal So you can keep making payments And, and keep the house and so we've had about five or six victories, and we're going to have more. This one house that, that we were working on, the police were particularly brutal about the way they took it, to, you know, uh, took the people out of the house. Uh, our city spent tens of thousands of dollars raiding their house, you know, paying extra police to raid their house. And so we got to the point where some people are, are being arrested now, and I was one of the people that got arrested. And... um you know, it's a it's a it's a fight, man. It's a it's a it, we're in the the next phase of what Martin Luther King did. This is the next phase of what Martin, um, Malcolm was doing. The next phase of you know the, the Gandhi was this doing fight for yeah, man. It's nonviolent. You know, we're not out here with you know uh, hurting anybody. We're not rioting, but we're saying you know these, these are regular people. And to me, it's very touching to see. Like a white middle aged mom or doctor or school teacher from the suburbs come to the hood and chain themselves to a black person's house and say and tell the police if you want to take this family out of their house you gotta arrest me. That meant, yeah. that almost makes me cry, man. I mean that touches yeah. my heart. That's something I never in life thought I would ever see. And when I saw that happening, man, I got to get involved in that. And that's what Occupy Homes is about. People say they feel such passion in the flow. Aunt Slug Sadiq told me half of what I know. The other half I learned at a mosque off Broadway. Peace to idea. This is Ron Say all day. Met home with the lowlights. Quote you a Bible verse and also a Coke price. They ain't had no choice. There's knowledge in their eyes that a school can't teach you. They sink a little deeper when they've seen true evil. Seen so deceitful. Greed only leaves you a means to an end cycle begins again. The real doesn't seem true. People need to see proof. Type of medicine you can't squeeze through a needle. Some of the brightest minds live behind walls with felonies. I imagine hella freeze for they let them leave. Best believe you're in my heart like a melody. I get my size 12s in each of the seven C's. Got a loyal following, King Solomon. Every time my knees touch the floor, I thank the Lord for them. I ain't been heard yet, I'm hollering. Stories I spin, cut through the core of the heart of men, raised by the origin. School to the sinister ways that we're caught up in. Oh, so unfortunate. I don't raise my head, I nod to them, honor them. Bow to the presence of the true living God in them Heart plant, planting in my sleeve, no overcoat Scream till I broke my throat Fiends did the okie doke They kept swinging so I lean like the rope of dope Don't dream my only hope Glean from my only hope Baby, please hold me close I don't feel so strong I don't know how long I can still hold on To the sick planet that we all spin around on Times it feels like the beauty part's almost gone uh. 